everybody. I'm so glad you joined me today. Today, it is a new start in Twigs. We are talking about something new. We are talking about patience. It is March, so that means new things to talk about in Twigs. We are talking about patience this month, and patience is waiting until later for what you want now. And we are learning, continuing, continuing to learn about how we can trust God no matter what. Now, today, our Bible story is going to Remind us that when you have to wait, remember God is with you. So let's read our memory, verse, our story, our Bible story. It is from Luke 2, 25 through 35. Now, there was a man in Jerusalem called Simeon, who was righteous and devout. He was waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not die before he had seen Lord's Christ. Moved by the Spirit, he went to the temple courts. When the parents brought in the child, Jesus to do for him what the custom of the law required, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God saying, Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you now dismiss your servant in peace. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all people, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. The child's father and mother marveled at what was said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, this child is destined to cause the falling and rising of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be spoken against so that the thoughts of many hearts will be revealed and a sword will pierce your own soul too. Isn't that a very interesting story? Simeon waited and waited to see Jesus. And when he got there, he took him in his arms and he just, he praised God now, I don't usually like waiting. What are some things that we have to wait for that we really look forward to, but we have to wait? Maybe if we're going somewhere fun, maybe up to a vacation or something. And if you drive, there's a long drive sometimes and you have to wait and wait in the car. Um, how about for your birthday or Christmas? These are amazing things that we look forward to, but there's a long wait until you get there. Now, waiting is hard. Waiting is the hardest especially for something we really look forward to or when something is hard. No matter what it is you have to wait for, God is always with you. You can trust him while you wait, just like Simeon did. Remember, God is with you. Just like Simeon, we can have patience and wait because we know God is in control and he, his plan for us is good. Now, before we pray and say goodbye, why don't we practice our memory verse because we have a new one this month. So I'll say it first and then you join me a second time. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and don't lose hope. Wait for the Lord. Psalm 27, 14. Why don't you say it with me this time? Wait for the Lord. Be strong and don't lose hope. Wait for the Lord. Psalm 27, 14. All right. Why don't you join me in prayer? Dear God, we are so thankful that you don't leave us alone while we wait. Even when we don't get the answers we hope for, or when we wish our waiting didn't last so long. You are always with us. This week, we meet people and experience times where we know we need patience. We ask that you help us show others what you are like through our waiting. May our actions show others that you, when you have to wait, remember God is with you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy the sunshine this week and warmer weather, and remember that God loves you, and we may remember to be patient this week. Bye. I'm gonna live but I believe